Hello, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. You get to play the wonderful character of Walter Kovacs, also known as Rorschach. Um, so tell me, why did you want to take on this character? Because he's he's the protagonist. I tend to um, to lean into those type of characters. Um, you know, certainly anti-heroes. Um, <laughs> And you know, having been a huge fan of the of the graphic novel, um, to say that I was beyond excited would be an understatement. When when I first got the call to do this, um, my my biggest concern, of course, was I said, you know, please tell me that you're not gonna you're not gonna deviate from you know the original musculature that was so brilliantly created. And they went, no, 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 we're doing. Cell animation with CG animation, and it we are basically going to bring the panels to life. And when I saw some of the, first, they showed me some blurbs, um, you know, a couple months after we had started, and um, I was really stunned because I thought, you know, wow. And and Zack Snyder did such an amazing job yeah. with the feature. Um, but this, I think, is gonna is going to just to, to scratch those itches that people have been feeling for a long time. So I'm 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 thrilled to be a part of it. And he's so, a great character, you know. He's yeah, you know, um, that gravelly voice. <laughs> yeah, that, that gravelly voice. That is, it is. Let me tell you, it, it it's a taxing. It, it, you know. Yeah. Stay in that vocal area, which you know can't be supported by any of the stuff they teach you in drama school about <laughs> voice. I, I could only record for a couple hours because it would really? it would blow my voice out, but it it was well worth it. Touching on on the the Zack Snyder version and even even the, the HBO series, was there any trepidation of taking? on this character because it has been played before to be honest with you i couldn't it's sort of a, a direct line you know that i was asked a lot when i when i took on the role of bosch you know people were saying you know although it had never been realized before uh, on on the screen certainly the audio books had been the earlier audio books had been done by different artists um and i knew that i had to kind of stick with um certain parameters of it but i didn't want to i didn't want to come in and just you know do an impression of jackie um yeah. as rorsha and he did a magnificent job i mean a great job so it was very yeah. hard i had to really make a concerted effort to to not go back and and watch the film during that period because um it would be very easy to slide into it because he did it so perfectly um you always you always need to make something you know your own to a certain yeah. degree, but you can't deviate from from it too far. Um, no. So no, for me, that was that was the challenge, but also you know the thrill and the joy of doing it. You can deviate, but you'll piss off the fans, so <laughs> you don't want yeah. to do that. <laughs> well, people don't understand, and because I'm a person who grew up, you know, reading comic books, I'm a collector. Not only in comic books, but of you know figures and the whole thing. I am a I am a bona fide card carrying uh, nerd, um, <laughs> and I, I hate I hate to say nerd because it has it's it, it seems like it's a pejorative, but I sort of take that that label uh, with wear uh, that badge of honor with pride, I, I, sir. <laughs> I wear I wear it with pride. So of course, you know that's the because of that. I I understand the value of yeah. of what the, what that job entails because uh, you know that's 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 really the contract right you yep. you know it, you got to do it till it's right 